Understanding War Zones at Home, an English Language Lesson. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English Language Learning Series. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase, War Zones at Home. This phrase is a powerful metaphor used in the English language to describe certain situations. Let's dive in and understand its meaning and usage. War zones at home combines two concepts, war zones and home. Traditionally, a war zone refers to a region where a war is taking place. However, in this metaphorical usage, it doesn't mean an actual battlefield. Instead, it signifies a place of conflict or turmoil. The word home usually means a place where one lives, often a place of comfort and safety. So, putting these together, war zones at home, suggests a situation where a place that should be safe and peaceful, like a home, turns into a place of conflict or stress. This phrase can be used in various contexts. It's often used to describe a family environment that's filled with arguments or unrest, making it feel more like a battleground than a nurturing place. It can also refer to domestic violence, intense family disputes, or even high-stress situations in a living situation that disrupt the peace and tranquility typically associated with a home. Let's see how this phrase can be used in sentences. One. After their parents' divorce, the children felt like they were living in war zones at home. 2. The constant quarreling between the roommates turned their apartment into war zones at home. 3. He avoided going back early to avoid the war zones at home caused by his parents' arguments. These examples show how the phrase can convey a sense of discord and unease in a place that is usually considered a refuge. There are other expressions in English that convey similar meanings. For instance, a house divided, living in a battleground, domestic unrest. Understanding these phrases can enrich your English vocabulary and help you express complex situations more effectively. I hope this explanation helps you understand the phrase, war zones at home. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the ideas and emotions they convey. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.